वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर टू ऑफ यूनिट टू दैट इज हार्ड डिस्क इंटरफेसिस इज द टूडेज टॉपिक बट बिफोर गोइंग टू द टॉपिक आई हैव कैप्ट लिंक टू यूट्यूब चैनल हियर यू कैन गो हियर एंड फाइंड मोर वीडियोज ऑफ कंप्यूटर मेंटेनेंस एंड ट्रबल शूटिंग सो नाउ स्टार्टिंग विथ हार्ड डिस्क इंटरफेसिस नाउ हार्ड डिस्क ड्राइव इंटरफेस इज अ फिजिकल कनेक्शन ऑफ अ ड्राइव टू द पी सीज एक्सपेंशन बस मीन्स देर इज वी ऑलरेडी नो ऑन द मदर बोर्ड देर आर एक्सपेंशन स्लॉट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन द प्रीवियस यूनिट सो इट इज अ फिजिकल कनेक्शन बिटवीन द फिजिकल कनेक्शन बिटवीन द ड्राइव टू द PCs expansion bus Simp- as simple as like your hard disk is there and you want to connect hard disk to the motherboard so there is a need of interface so this kind of interface is known as hard disk interfaces so starting with SCSI it is also known as SCSI interface and the full form is small computer system interface uh and others are ide eide sata usb ieee 1394 that is firewire so starting with uh, scsi it is also pronounced as sku z and known as sku z the small computer system interface we already know the full form of scsi uh it is a set of american national standard institutes that is anc standard electronic interfaces this allows personal computers to connect with peripheral hardware such as disk drives tape drives cd rom drive printers and scanner fa- scanners faster and more flexibly than the previous parallel data transfer interfaces means it is better than parallel interfaces uh Uh, SCSI interfaces provide for uh, provide for data transmission rates higher rates compared to parallel rates. But, uh, for example, it can be up to 80 Mbps. Um, SCSI is a much more advanced interface than its competitor. Means it is advanced than IDE and ATA. ATA and IDE were the ATA or I, ATA or IDE were the competitors of scsi and you can see in this figure uh, this is the type of uh, or you can say type of slot for or you can say interface of sc you can see this kind of ports uh, 25 pin connector 50 pin connector and 50 and uh, this uh, again see scsi port 50 pin connector and this is the uh, and here you can see the uh, cable here it is the cable that is going to connect this is the connector you are connecting you are going to connect at this slot and uh, this slot is on motherboard and other slot uh, will be connected on the hard drives means connector formed on the hard drives next is ide IDE it is also known as PATA and uh, originally IDE then standardized under the name ATA uh, then also it is known as PATA and uh, and uh, at the time it evolved and it uh, now we are using serial ATA that is SATA cables so IDE ev- evolved eventually and uh, converted into serial ata uh, means eventually evolved means uh, the technology developed so much that uh, previous ide or pata pata cables were replaced by serial ata that is sata cables ide drive can be directly connected to the io bus slot on the motherboard uh, using 40 pin wire cable the ide drive is connect to the bus adapter if the motherboard has ide connector one can directly connect to ide drive using 40 uh, using 40 pin connector uh, cable you can see here uh, this is the hard drive that is this is kind of uh, pata uh, 
uh, here it is the connector showing that it will be going to connect at this point this is slot for pata and this is a connector for pata uh, you can see the cable whole cable of pata like this uh, it will be connected you can see how it is going to connect to the hard drive so it supports 8 to 16 bit in interface and um, speed from 8.3 uh, mbps to 100 mbps and these are the varieties of ide or you can say cables now starting with eide that is enhanced or extended ide this interface allows bios to support up to 8 gb large hard disk drives means previously uh, up to ide or ata cables um, the disk capacity was lower uh, means it could be a, in MBs, but uh, with EIDE, it was possible to support 8 GB large hard disk. Supports very high speed data transfer. It allows connecting other devices like tape drive, CD ROM, etc. EIDVE has high speed interface for high capacity hard disk drives. Now going for SATA. It has it is an evolution of PATA. I already discussed in uh, discussed while discussing IDE or PATA cable. Uh, SATA is an evolution of PATA interface. It is a single cable with minimum of four wires. Creates a point to point connection between the device devices. Uh, transfers rate transfer rate begins with 150 MB per second up to 1.5 GB PS. SATA has point-to-point -point channel between motherboard and, dri and drive rather than master-slave in PATA. Means in uh, PATA we were having master-slave uh, concept but in SATA there is uh, there is no possibility or the, we are just an eliminating the master-slave con concept. So in SATA you can uh, you can access information at any point at uh, any given time but in pata uh, it was uh, first first of all for mastering the bus it was uh, necessary to get a request from the cpu and then after getting getting the access of buses you can uh, have the transfer of data but in this sata type uh, of cable there is no need of a master slave like concept because in this you can access any data at any given point of now again uh, this USB we already know what is USB we have studied in ports as well as interfaces so USB uh, is very popular as most computers now have ports these kind of ports and USB connectors only and USB connections only other advantages of X of uh, these kind of external hard drives is that computers and laptops have a chance of losing data all the time and also theft is very common as far as laptop is concerned so external hard drives are ideal for backing up your hard drive or storing from your main hard drive but nowadays what we are using uh, mostly uh, like a uh, very personal photos or personal videos we are keeping on this hard disk and many many kind of personal data which is very uh, which is very important and need to be secured so we are going to we are putting on this kind of usb now this is ieee 1394 firewire we already know uh, what is ieee 1394 it is also a type of port which, which require which gives high data transfer rate and important for camcorders or you can say for video high quality of video transfer and you can see here for four six and nine pin connectors uh, basically uh, th these kind of connectors will be on find on hard drive and same connector i will be used uh, to connect to hard drive and there will be a port on motherboard so this will this will be the kind of wire that is going to connect your hard drive and the motherboard now next is solid state drive so what is solid state drive or you can say it is also known as solid state disk or it, and it is also known as ssd it is a data storage device using integrated circuit 
assemblies as a memory to store data persistently means there is no, uh, nothing like of platters or uh, nothing like uh, the shape of disk it is simply an integrated circuit which is which is used to store persistent data so ssd is a storage medium that that uses non volatile memory as a means of holding and accessing data unlike a hard drive an ssd has no moving parts means i already discussed there is no hard disk no uh, uh, sorry no platters no uh, moving spindle mo no moving spindle motor no actuators nothing like this but it is an integrated circuit so which gives it advantages such as faster access time noiseless operation highly high reliability and low power consumption so whenever you are working with hard disk uh, there will be some kind of noise and lot lots of power consumption so with ssd the uh, all these kind of limitations are eliminated these are the, this is the figure which is showing the type of ssd it uses flash memory which retains data without power means without power also your know, data is retained in this an ssd conversely reads and writes the data to the substrate of interconnected flash memory chips which are fabricated out of silicon so uh, so you can see that um, uh, in this sentence it is written that it uh, it is uh, shown or it is written that uh, data writes to a substrate of interconnected flash memory chips which are fabricated out of silicon means it is having two kind of materials that is substrate material and a silicon uh, so now coming with two raid Uh, the full form is redundant array of independent disk a uh, red uh, read is not an interface it is not a connection between hard drive and motherboard but it is a concept that is uh, used to improve the performance of the p of your computer system commonly these kind of uh, uh, read system is used in servers and uh, high performance computers Uh, why raid is uh, raid is an uh, uh, idea or a concept which is important uh, and where it is important uh, it is important where the data is very much vulnerable and very very much important so that uh, 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 when the data is destroyed then it leads to a catastrophic condition uh, catastrophic condition means uh, without data you cannot survive you means you cannot uh, your system is does not survive means uh, it leads to a system failure so in uh, these kinds of situation uh, like uh, natural calamity or any other theft or system crash or any kind of so any kind of such things where uh, it is it is uh, a chance that your data is going to Uh, delete or you can say eliminate or theft or get theft so to uh, in uh, in this position or you can say in these kind of conditions your raid uh, is a uh, raid concept is used to improve your computer's uh, performance so uh here uh, you can see uh, it is a data storage virtualization technology that combines multiple physical disk components into one or more logical units for the purposes of data redundancy performance improvement or both uh data redundancy means you are duplicating the data which is very much important so now, so these are the raid features you can see so data is distributed across, across the drives Um, is there are multiple drives where your data will be distributed, and and there will be a large number of uh, uh, drives where your data will be uh, going to save, or you can say your redundant data will need a number of uh, disks to duplicate your data. A uh, number of standard schemes were evolved, and these schemes were known as levels. Uh, initially only five red levels were there but soon uh, nested levels and non standard levels came into existence what are the key goals of red red so key goals are reliability and availability of data and performance and capacity of the system
Now advantage, what is the advantage? It, it will provide data security, it will improve the performance and increase the fault tolerance. Fault tolerance means when, when there will be a condition where any kind of fault is coming and your system gets crashing, gets crashed. At that time, your data will be secure and you will get the data from the point the system got crashed. Uh, means the uh, position up to where your data was processed from the same position your, you will get the data after getting recovered. So this kind of thing is known as fault tolerance. Uh, in computer storage the standard RAID levels comprise of comprise a basic set of RAID uh, that is a uh, redundant array of independent disk. I already discussed what is the full form of it. Now uh, you can see the techniques which we are using. Uh, this RAID is using is stripping, mirroring, or parity to create large reliable data stores from multiple general purpose computer hard disk drives. Uh, now uh, from this uh, we just got an idea that uh, how we are going to store our uh, data on different different disk. This is basically an idea of RAID. So starting with, uh, there are nine types of RAID. You can see R A I R A R A I D zero. Uh, here what you are doing, there is no redundancy, but your data will be uh, distributed. On disk one there is on A block, and on disk two there will be B block. Like C here in on disk one and D on disk two. Likewise, your data will be stored so that when disk one crashes, at least this two data will be available and from the block B we can easily get block A and from block D we can easily get block C likewise. Uh, no fault tolerance. Fault tolerance is not there in this kind of RAID. Now coming to RAID 1, it consists exact copy means mirroring means uh, disk 1 whatever the data will be stored on disk 1 same data will be stored on disk 2 if in the condition of failure disk 1 of disk 1 then disk 2 will be there to get the same data so read performance increases and the reliability of data also increases second uh, next is rate 2 which is not used in practice which is not used or it is not practiced uh, it strikes the data at the bit level means uh, if, uh, if the block is of a uh, if the block number is a then with uh, at the bit level it is uh, it is distributed on the disk like uh, on disk one in a one is the number of bits which is stored on disk one then a2 then a3 then a4 likewise b1 b2 b3 b4 and the parity is kept on other disk so that uh, in the condition of uh, failure with the help of Hamming code and error connection uh, tech, uh, error connection methods you can easily get the data of A1, A2 and A3 and A4. Next is RAID 3 which is which this is also not used in practice but uh, it is byte level stripping. Byte level stripping means in this bit level stripping was there but in this byte level stripping this whole block is divided into number of bits in the uh, rate 2 but in this it is divided into bytes previously we were using only bits in this we, we are using bytes so in this you can see the uh, parity disk is having one uh, up to one and two parity uh, on the disk 3 that is it is storing parity of a1 as well as a2 like a3 and a4 also in uh, on the disk of same on the disk 3 at the same position so in this bit bit level stripping and in this byte level stripping means idea is idea is that to distribute a single block into bytes uh, divide into bytes and distribute on the different disk so that uh, only byte will get if any of the disk get crash then only bytes will be uh, missed or you can say will get crashed so it will be easy to get the previous bytes from 
with the help of the eight uh, of the available byte and with the parity next is raid 4 consist of block level stripping with a dedicated parity disk uh, here now block level stripping is there a1 a2 a3 and parity as a, as a result of this layout it provides good performance of random reads while the performance of random random writes is low due to need to write all parity data to a single disk means whatever parity is there everything will be stored on this on a single disk uh, next is raid 5 consists of block level stripping in this also block level stripping with distributed parity in raid 4 uh, only one specific disk was there where parity was stored uh, but in raid 5 parity is distributed on different different disk so unlike the, uh, in RAID 4 parity information is distributed among the drives, it requires that all drives but one be present to operate. Next is RAID 6. It extends RAID 5 by adding another parity block. Another parity block like E4, E1, E2, E3, EP on, uh, on all the disk and it uh, thus it uses block level stripping with two parity blocks distributed across all member disk now next is RAID 7 is a type of RAID level that includes a real-time embedded operating system and processor for enhanced data read or write or IO operation and data caching capabilities next is RAID 10 it is also known as RAID 1 plus 0 it uses idea of RAID, Z, uh, RAID 1 to RAID 0 means it is a combination of Two, two RAID levels uh, so you, uh, you can also say that this is a nested RAID level and it combines disk mirroring and disk stripping to protect data means here you are uh, com, uh, disk, uh, sorry data is uh, striped as well as data is mirrored means same uh, there are in RAID 1 you are see, you are seeing that uh, it is creating a copy of of a first disk while RAID 0 was that that it was uh, stripping means it was distributing the data to different disk so uh, RAID 1 what RAID 1 is doing it is mirroring the disk and RAID 0 what RAID 0 was doing it was distributing the data so uh, in RAID, uh, in this fi figure you can see RAID 1 it is showing two disk copy of uh, one disk here also copy of uh, disk and uh, distribution like A1 and in here A2 is there. Here A3 is there, here A4 is there. So a RAID 10 is uh, RAID 10 or you can say RAID 1 plus 0 or it is also known as RAID 0 plus 1. Next is RAID 50. This is also a nested RAID level. Now here it combines straight block level stripping of RAID 0 with the distributed parity of RAID 5. Similarly, RAID 53 should uh, it uh, also uh, it should be really called RAID 03, but because it is implemented as, as a striped so RAID level array whose segment are RAID 3 arrays. So and next is RAID RAID S. It is similar to RAID 5 with some performance enhancement that come from having high speed disk cache on the disk disk array. So whenever uh, a question comes in exam that uh, explain RAID levels of uh, uh, RAID levels for uh, data storage on the hard disk then what you will do you will just explain RAID what is RAID and explain some features uh, then key goals and uh, uh, advantages and after uh, just write few words or you can say two to three lines not more than that only two to three lines for each RAID level and a figure for each red level then this will be enough for your uh, question that is asked in GTU exam and the question will be not more than 5 marks so these are the references and uh, you can subscribe my channel it is also available on YouTube uh, the link is shown on the first uh, slide of the video and thank you thank you so much